Good morning everyone. I trust that you're having a, a pleasant Monday morning. Uh, always good to have a, a positive start to the weekend. Even if we've got other things going on in our lives, uh, put a smile on our faces and we can uh, get through that a little better. We have a look, having a look at uh, John's Gospel, chapter 6 uh, today. In fact, chapter 6 throughout the week. Um, and in this particular case, it's not the beginning of the chapter, but Jesus um, is talking to the people and it gets dark and he goes off. And during the night, the uh, apostles go uh, across the, the lake or go back uh, to their home, if you like, because Capernaum was actually, if you like, the home of Jesus as he grew up. And um, in the morning, they, they couldn't find him. And so they went around and they said to the Lord, well, how, how did you get here? And he was saying to them, well, you know, how can you ask those sort of questions? You, 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 you're looking for, for things of this world, not things of the, other, of the next. His words are, do not work for food that cannot last, but the kind that the Son of Man is offering you. And uh, it's, it's, that, it's that constant reminder that we'll get uh, from Jesus throughout the course of this week that we shouldn't concentrate too much on things of this world, but we should concentrate on um, fulfilling ourselves spiritually and making sure that we are well spiritually nourished. In saying that, he says, you must believe in the one that God has sent. Not that you must believe the one, but believe in the one. And there's a distinction there. It's not that just believing what I have to say, but in fact embracing what I have to say so that it becomes part of you. And those of you who would have heard me preach over the weekend would have uh, realized what I was talking about in terms of the Lord be within you as opposed to the Lord be with you. And so it's something that we, we are allowed to become part of our, our bodies, part of our spirituality um, and, and, and spiritually enriched. In the Acts of the Apostles, we see uh, Stephen, uh, one of the first of the seven who are called and one of the first deacons. Uh, you know, there were deacons around at the time. And they were appointed to go and help the apostles because there was a lot of work for them to do. And Stephen was energetic in that. And he was filled with grace and power. And he was saying a lot of things, in fact, performing miracles. And uh, needless to say, the things that he said were as unpopular as when Jesus was saying them. And uh, the result is that they dragged him out of the city and they stoned him to death. And uh, we're told that Paul was standing by, uh, sorry, a young man called Saul was standing by holding the, the garments of those who stoned him. So we don't necessarily always get uh, the best results from our energy and, and preaching our word, but we must do so with courage and enthusiasm. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.